workers in Britain has soared in the past decade. There are now just over one and a half million of them. They've been attracted by the strong economy and they've filled gaps in the labour market. But is it fair to claim, as some have done, that migrant workers are keeping down the wages of British workers? For the latest in our series on the changing face of Britain, our economics editor Evan Davis went to Swindon to try to find out. Swindon was built for Brunel's Great Western Railway, hence this railway museum here. But the Great Western Railway was built with the hard grunt work of migrant workers, mostly from Ireland. Now, the railways and trains have changed a bit, but the importance of migration to the economy hasn't. And the key question about it is what kind of work do migrants perform? Irish navvies provided heavy manual work. So did that benefit the rich railway owners by stealing jobs that would have gone to British navvies? It's a controversial question about migrant labour today. Is it helping or hurting the workers of Swindon? And sorry, folks, it's hard to pin down an answer. The labour market is highly complex. We have Polish doctors in Swindon, we have Polish dentists, and it's excellent. But then we have Polish people, they come and they don't know the language at all, or they just know a little bit. So the ones that know a little bit, they work in Honda or Woolworths or Marks and Spencer warehouses, and the ones that don't know anything, then they start on the building site and work their way up. Marila runs the Polish deli and has her ear to the ground. But what about the national picture? 24% of British workers are classified as having routine or unskilled jobs. Of foreign workers, it's 27%. But of recent migrants, those arriving in the last year, far more, 44%, are in those routine jobs. Why does that matter? Ask an economist. You've got a surge in unskilled immigration. What would you expect? Well, you would expect the wages of unskilled workers uh, in the simplest possible model to, uh, to, to suffer while the wages of skilled workers uh, may benefit. But then the science lesson. Life isn't simple, he explained, and economists aren't sure how far migration affects wages. However, still the majority of studies uh, does not uh, find uh, wage effects, or if there are wage effects, only very small wage effects. The view of a top British economist who comes from Germany. Swindon's jobs market, with its migrant population, is as ambiguous as the economists are. Migrants have helped create a bustling service sector and an unusually large number of people in work. But Swindon does have higher unemployment than other parts of the southwest. And to make it even more complicated, migrants like Matthew in unskilled bar jobs today aim to apply for more skilled jobs tomorrow. It's really common. They want to start to do anything to get some pounds and then to stay longer in the UK to get better, better possibilities. It'll take years to know where Matthew and his friends end up and it'll take years to know how migration really affects Swindon. Sorry for the indecisiveness, but like the Irish who helped build Swindon's railways, migrants both take jobs and create them. Evan Davis, BBC News, Swindon.